indeed smiling. Everyone associated with Michigan State was smiling after that finish, including the guy who caught the Hail Mary, Keith Nickel. Keith, how did that change your life? Well, you know, I think it just brings in a lot of memories, and through, after, throughout your days and your life, you keep bringing it up, and uh, it's a memory that keeps you tied to the program, and, and people like to bring it up and, and keep and, uh, celebrating it, so it's, it's pretty unique. How often does it come up? I was joking uh, with some media interviews earlier this week, and I think it comes up weekly as you get close to the game days, and throughout the fall it comes up almost daily, so it's pretty incredible. You mentioned being connected to the program. You still are. You are the sideline reporter for the radio, so I want to give you a little X's and O's opportunity here. You're heading into the stadium to help call this game in a few minutes. What are you watching? What's the key matchup here? You know, in any uh, grudge match like this, it's going to come down to the line of scrimmage, and is. is as repetitive as that is, it's going to come down to these two teams that can win the line of scrimmage. And it was really nice to see Michigan State dominate the line of scrimmage against Notre Dame last week and, and have that young old line really come together. Uh, but Wisconsin's not going to back down from a challenge. Those guys can bring it too. So if we can get to dominate the line of scrimmage and allow our running backs to make plays and tell our kind of time to throw the ball, it's a pretty simple game then. We have a pretty good chance to win. It does have the feel of a line of scrimmage game. Two teams in the top three in the Big Ten in terms of time of possession. Keith Nickel, thanks a lot for spending a few minutes with us and reminiscing. Really appreciate it. Have a good call today. Go Green.